When's the last time someone gave you a good cleaning tip? I have millions of adoring fans all over the world, and they send me letters asking me questions on a wide array of different topics. Oh, look, here's one now. Dear Peachy, I'm a cleaning product junkie. I don't know what that's like. The cabinet under my sink is so full of cleaning products, I can't even find the one I'm looking for anymore. Any tips on organizing these? Thanks, Product Pete. Well, Pete, I'm sure you're surprised, but I used to have that exact same problem. That is, until I came up with this handy hack. Install a tension rod under your sink and hang your spray bottles. Then, voila, you've got plenty of room for other cleaners underneath. You thought I was gonna tell you to buy fewer cleaning products. Nah, I'm telling you to buy more. Oh, here's another one. Dear Peachy, eek, I thought I was showering alone. Turns out I have company, mold. It's growing on the underside of my bath mat. What should I do? Help. Showering Shannon. Well, Shannon, you can start by throwing your bath mat in the washing machine with a couple of towels to get it clean. And then, after your shower, pull up that bath mat, give it a shake, and clip it to a plastic pants hanger. Hang it on the shower head or on a hook to dry. Just make sure there is room in the back of the mat for airflow. Your shower mat will stay clean, fresh, and dry, just like you. Dear PG, what can I do about that disgusting little puddle of water that collects at the bottom of my toilet brush holder? Sincerely, Biffy Lou. All right, let's break this down. Biffy, and all y'all, I know that a lot of you like to use this type of a setup to clean your toilet bowl. And I know what you're thinking, oh my gosh, that's so disgusting. She just put a toilet bowl brush and holder onto her dining room table. Well, I would say to you, it's brand new, see? Anyway, I can see how the little puddle of water that would collect in the bottom of this thing could potentially be the nastiest thing in your bathroom. I personally like to use one of these disposable pads and one of these wands, and that way when I'm done uh, cleaning the inside of my bowl, they just kind of pop off and you can put that in your garbage and put your wand back in your holder. But for those of you who are still keen on this system, let me uh, let you in on a little hack that I've picked up along the way. After you're finished scrubbing your bowl, spray the brush generously with a disinfectant. Rubbing alcohol works well. And leave it to drip dry between the rim and the seat. It only takes a couple minutes to dry, then you can toss it back in its little bowl holder thingamabob. Dear Peachy, I'm an animal and nature lover. Lately, I've become aware of plastic pollution. Can you give me some ideas on how to recycle and reuse my plastic bags? Tree hugging Trudy. Well, Trudy, it is true that millions of bags adding up to literally tons of plastic are dumped into landfills each day. Plastic bags are convenient for us, but not so much for our animal friends. Anything we could do would help. Here are some great uses for all of the plastic bags in your life. Plunger protector. Wrapping breakables before storage. Keep one in your car for an impromptu rain hat. Keep away from your nose and mouth. Use them in your luggage to store wet or soiled clothing. And you, of course, can use them to line your small garbage receptacles. 
then of course there's my favorite. I'm starting a new fashion trend in my town by wearing one as a backpack. Don't forget to check your favorite store. They sometimes have bins for recycling. Oh look, another adoring fan. Dear Peachy, I really hate wasting things. I especially hate throwing away that little sliver of soap when my bar gets too small to use. How can I make sure I use every last bit? Soap saving Sam. Well Sam, you probably didn't know this about me, but I'm a soaper, which means I make my own homemade bars of soap. And as a result, I get a lot of soap scraps and slivers. And I found a pretty cool way to use these. Check it out. Get yourself a somewhat thick sponge. I got this one from the dollar store. Take a scissors or knife, chainsaw not recommended, and cut a little pocket in the middle of the sponge. Then slip your soap sliver into the pocket. Run it under a little warm water to get it sudsy, and it just has a multitude of uses. Such as washing counters, sinks, and even your toes. Don't be shy. Sometimes making a cut at the end of your sponge can be helpful too, just for drying purposes. Well everyone, that makes five. So now that your life is all fixed up, what are you going to do with yourself? You can let me know in the comment section below. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you like this format of hacks slash tips. Um, I have all kinds of these little tricks to share. And sharing is caring after all. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.